Hello and welcome to the final race of the season. We are here at Homestead for 41 laps of action, and I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, Yayo Carrillo starting in the top 10, in fact, starting within the top 6, uh, however, starting on the outside row. Um, still second in points, 36 points behind our points leader, Benny Watson, who starts near the rear of the field, starting on the outside as well. Um, so, let's get into it. Trey Wright starting on the pole for this one today. Uh, he is fifth in points coming into this race. Uh, really, no one else has a chance besides Carrillo to take the championship. Uh, Derek Camel, I believe, is third in points at the moment. 101 points behind uh, our leader, Benny Watson. So we'd have to see what exactly happens, but I don't think uh, he'd be able to take the championship off of anyone, or at least Watson, uh, that far behind. Uh, and he is 65 points behind Carrillo. So we'll have to see what happens. But, uh, yeah, so Trevor starts on the pole. John Andrews starting second in row two. We've got Mitchell Collins and Samet Oskin. In row three, we've got Jesse Turner and Yael Carrillo. And then in row four, we've got Ivan Martinez and Lauren Martinez. And then in row five, rounding out the top ten, we've got Jeremiah Dwayne and Bradley Ream. Let's get these guys rolled off, rolling off here, and then we can see where we're going to go. Um, everything's fine with, fine with Ryan Benjamin there. He just didn't get rolling. Uh, and it looks like Corey LaJoy, the only winner so far this season to win three times. Uh, the rest of the field here, they're all kind of weirdly getting off. They're getting off to a weird start. <laughs> Let me phrase it that way. Uh, like I said, Benny Watson starting in the back here. Not completely in the back, so he's going to have to try to work his way to the inside line and work his way up. As long as he finishes in front of Yael Carrillo to be safe, uh, he will definitely win the championship. If he's behind, it's going to be close. Trey Wright leads the field to the green, but yeah, uh, he's going to have to be careful with, uh, with all of that. Uh, hopefully this is not a wreck fest. Hopefully we have a good race, and hopefully... We crown a champion today. <laughs> uh, Trey Wright, what a great start. And I think we might have some passing. A lot of passing here today. Hopefully, that would be nice to see. Mitchell Collins finding his way into second. It looks like Ryan Benjamin making his way down pit road uh, for something. As uh, we are coming to lap number two. Mitchell Collins all over that uh, 34 machines bumper and uh, let's take a look back here well, we've got two guys going up the track Gore Barreto and Bradley Ream looks like they're going to solve it yeah they're going to solve it before they get out of the turn and uh, what's happening back here Benny Watson able to find his way to the inside but uh, I think maybe Yayo Carrillo yes Yayo Carrillo sitting inside of the top 10 is what it looks like and Carrillo getting a Fantastic run through the middle to get around Laura Martinez and Samet Oskin. And just like that, Carrillo making a name for himself. Well, Benny Watson, we're going to be following him quite a bit, as well as Carrillo. But uh, if he can get up around some of these guys, he's going to have a ch pretty good chance. Uh, though I know a couple of races, he doesn't, he has had a hard time passing people. He gets passed before he can really pass anybody. It looks like he's going to attempt to get around Harry Johnson here. And uh, he's going to go up the track. And he's going to kind of start losing this front pack. If he does that, he's going to have a hard, hard time staying in this one. And now uh, I would not like the pace car. And it looks like Yael Carrillo sitting in seventh right now. This would be a complete, not upset, but this would be a complete reversal. Uh, Yael Carrillo playing... That Uno reverse card that uh, Benny Watson, or I guess Benny Watson playing that Uno reverse card. You think I'm going to win? Aha, uh -huh, I reverse you. You win this now. Um, really? Benny Watson looks like he's able to kind of make up some more ground. Um, now, this is the track that I won at and won my championship at. So. 
I know how to win here, but uh, let's see if anyone else knows how to win here. I know a few other guys have won here, obviously. But uh, let's see. Yayo Kiryu. I know we're not following our leader too much. Tree Wright, I believe, is still in the lead. Yeah. And it looks like Kiryu is trying to make moves, but it, it, it's not really working out for him. And uh, just like that, they're going to kind of soften up and single file out. Which, to the rest of the field, that's not really what happened. But Benny Watson, not what you want to do if you're trying to, to win a championship. You don't want to be stuck on the outside. If he can get to the bottom, if he can get... I don't understand this AI sometimes. He's going to lose even more positions as, uh, well, Brad Stover and Zachary Fitzwater are right there to uh, kind of take it from him. And it looks like Watson getting a great run through the middle as he's going to find somehow find his way to the bottom. Um, I'm curious to see uh, what he's able to do. Is it looks like he might be slipping up the track and might be losing that position pretty soon. Now, um, Yayo Kiryu looking like uh, well, he might be losing some positions here pretty fast. Uh, he has made up some ground, but uh, he's... Uh, He's not looking too good, unless he gets a pretty good run off of this turn, which he does, but Mitchell Collins still right there. And really, a lot can change really fast here. Kuryu in sixth. Just like that, wow. And Kuryu making up ground really quickly, and uh, Benny Watson still kind of struggling, uh, sitting in 29th right now. We're going to have to really really move he's got a lot of race left to do it and there's a lot of race left for Kuryo to make mistakes we'll just have to see how this one plays out and it looks like Kuryo now kind of getting pressured again getting pressure again from Mitchell Collins Mitchell Collins I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, made a move anytime soon though getting past here isn't or attempting to get past while uh, being up high is not the worst thing that can happen, uh, especially since you can get a pretty good run on the outside, and uh, it's definitely what you want. As, uh, he is now in 28th following that lap. Um, Benny Watson is. And if he catch up here, he can make up quite a bit of ground. Uh, but uh, at the moment, it is more than likely Yayo Kuryo who is sitting in the front of the points. Who is looking like gonna be? Our, who's looking like our champion? <laughs> Looks like Samet Oskin gonna try to disrupt Kuryo here. We'll have to see Kuryo trying to get around Jeremiah Dwayne for yet another spot. Every spot gained is another spot that Benny Watson's gonna have to make up. The closer they are, the more chance that Watson's got. But as of right now, he's about 22 spots behind. And Kuryu kind of in a comfortable spot here. Benny Watson going to have to really do some work as he's getting passed by Brad Stover. And uh, definitely not the side that he wants to be on as he's going to climb up the track. And he's going oh, to lose so many positions. Oh, man. Benny Watson not having a day again. Just kind of... Uh, it looks like he got a little loose there, but he's going to lose all of that ground that he just made up. All of it. As uh, being too high on the track is not where you want to be. And he has no lane to do anything whatsoever. And uh, well, I'm going to chalk it up to Yayo Carrillo for the moment. I know we still have a ton of racing left, but uh, Benny Watson's just... The last four or five races are just terrible. I won't like to say that, but just terrible when it comes to trying to make up ground. Starting up front, he's really good, but if he starts in the back, he he can climb up most he can, but when someone tries to pass him, he, he allows it and loses all of the ground that he just spent making up, and uh, Yao Carrillo doing pretty well with uh, not allowing anyone to pass him.
Oh, it looks like Alexander Jones may have been down pit road. I don't know what was happening there. Uh, Benny Watson still uh, still struggling to get close to where he was again, and uh, so I thought he made a little bit of contact there with Harry Johnson. It looks like he's finally in his own lane. Uh, but here comes Hunter Blade, who's going to make a move, and Watson going to continue to struggle. He's going to go even further up the track. And that's going to allow even Ryan Madden to make a move. And oh, man, that's got to be frustrating for him as well. Though one driver not frustrated with it, Yayo Carrillo. Carrillo pretty much has this one in the bag. Benny Watson... As, uh, well, like I said earlier, not saying it to be mean, but the last four or five races has been terrible when it comes to starting in the back, and Samet Oskin moving Yayo Carrillo out of the way. Carrillo possibly could get a run here, like he has been, but uh, we'll have to see. He's pretty much fine, even if he does get past uh, Samet Oskin. Uh, Sorry, uh, Corey the Joint not too close, so uh, really no problem for Carrillo, even though he got passed. Catch back around here to Benny Watson. Benny Watson. Yeah, that's not pretty. Allowing everyone to get around him. And I say everyone, but, uh, well, pretty much has. He had a chance with Hunter Blade to stay in that position, but uh, he keeps, his car keeps sliding up the track, and, well, he's not, I don't know, he's just struggling here today. It looks like he is going to make up, or attempt to make up some ground off of uh, Zachary Fitzwater here, but, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen, and he's going to have to worry about everyone else now, as, uh, Looks like Yao Kriyu trying to possibly get back around for sixth. That is Matt Oskin uh, really moving up. And uh, Corey LaJoy able to catch up to the 10 and the 10 of Yao Kriyu moving up the track. I don't know if he's doing it for the run, but uh, it's not working. It doesn't look like it's working out, and Corey LaJoy might be able to contain this, uh, or maybe able to take this spot. And here comes Lauren Martinez. This is the point when if uh, Yayo Carrillo doesn't get a good run, he could fall back. He could he could end up close to Benny Watson. If there's a steady stream of cars, that could uh, well that could uh, ruin that tin machine. His uh, his chances is he's going to continue to fall back, and here come the rest of the cars. Mitchell Collins trying to get around Yayo Carrillo now. We'll watch this, and I think Carrillo was able to possibly keep that position. It looks like that was the case, but we'll, we'll have to see how that develops later. And Trey Wright's still out front with John Andrews right behind. It looks like Benny Watson losing even more positions. Uh, the last time we saw, he was in a pretty okay spot, but now he's pretty much handing it to Carrillo. Um, looks like he's not going to be able to hold on to that position. And he, I don't know what he's doing. It's um, not what you want to see from your from the points leader. Um, we'll have to see what happens here. Mitchell Collins up the track, and that's gonna allow Yao Carrillo to hold on to that position just a bit longer. But uh, unless Carrillo loses 10, 15, 20 positions in the next. 20 laps. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't see Carrillo losing this one, and that's got to be heart. But that's heartbreak for that uh, 38 team, um, dominating the second half of the season until the last four, five or four races, and uh, well, it, well, they just kind of. I don't want to say choked. Because it's not over yet, but uh, 190 points ahead. Just uh, not a not a terribly pretty sight. It looks like John Andrews trying to get around our leader, 
of Trey Wright. Uh, John Andrews is able to lead that lap, and it looks like Watson. There's only two cars behind, and I he is struggling. This is hard to watch. He was making up positions and then just kind of... I don't know if he's just giving up or what he's doing, but uh, he is... The only other cars behind him are cars that have a lap down. That's, that's it. Um, he had a chance to make up a lot of ground, but after that, it, it's been it's been a downhill battle. Um, but catch him back up here. Uh, Metro Collins still all over the bumper of that Tim machine. Looks like Yao Carrillo. Well, I don't think he's going to be giving up that uh, ninth spot anytime soon. Okay, I guess Metro Collins is now going to try to make a move on Carrillo. This could go one of two ways. And it went way number one. <laughs> and Metro Collins now going to go up the track. And Yao Carrillo going to get a good run on Lauren Martinez. Oh, what is this race? The AI, the AI are kind of annoying. I don't know what's wrong with Watson's car here, but uh, he is quickly losing speed. He's losing he's losing ground fast. Um, like he passes a car and then he just gives up that position and more. It it's that's got to be frustrating for him. That's got to be. As uh, now Yayo Carrillo moving up quite a bit. I'm pretty sure she or uh, he just moved up like three positions. Uh, Yayo Carrillo now going to be in sixth, just like that. And that's what Watson needs to do. Watson needs to make up positions, like multiple positions at a time. Yayo Carrillo now getting pressure from Laura Martinez as we are, for some reason, losing frames. There we go. Yeah, Carrillo getting pressure from Laura Martinez and Carrillo up the track. Three wide. That's not going to be good. Contact, I thought. No, we are fine. But uh, Mitch Collins still trying to get around Carrillo. Uh, we'll have to see if he can. That's going to that's gonna open up the door for a lot of other drivers to get around Carrillo as well. How legacy there. Chris Tejada. Looks like Mitchell Collins was able to complete that pass, but now, uh, now Al Lagasse is going to be fighting for that spot. Now Lagasse, see if he's going to be able to get around Carrillo, and Carrillo, way up the track, not where you want to be, uh, especially if you're trying to maintain position, and uh, looks like he's kind of uh, stuck in this little group of cars here. Uh, being stuck in this group of cars opens the door for getting passed by a big amount of them. And then, well, getting passed by the people that catch up to that pack. Uh, Jesse Turner trying to take over that position. As, uh, take over 10th, really. As uh, we will watch this through. Uh, we're actually going to... Uh, John Andrews out front, Smed Austin in second, and... Look at this. Alexander Jones, the lap traffic was able to get around our points leader. Um, Christian Vargas, not lap traffic, uh, but he was. Um, well, he did fall behind Watson, and Watson, well, I think uh, Alexander Jones is lap traffic. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, but Al uh, Benny Watson, um, uh, he's going to have to do something. I think, I think he is lap traffic. I think. As uh, Samantha Oskin sitting in second, John Andrews in first, like we said, and looks like Yao Creo was able to find his way into that 11th position just fine. As uh, we've got a, kind of a big gap here. <laughs> a really big gap, as Benny Watson continuing to struggle here, and that... Uh, yeah, it's pretty much his story for this one. Like, even when he has chances to make passes, he's not there to make them. It uh, looks like he, well, I say that, it looks like he's going to have a chance here as Madison Tall up the track, but he's just having a hard time. He keeps flying up the track or sliding up the track. And it's 
stopping him from making any ground. In fact, it's causing it's what's causing him to lose ground. He's not being able to maintain a, a good line. And Yao Kuryu way off the pace of Jesse Turner there. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if that one down he was able to catch up to him in a couple laps. And uh, if he's able to do that, that, there's a pretty big line of cars here that would uh, that would send him back. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, if there was a bigger group by the time that they did catch him. And Yayo Kuryu still doesn't really have too much to worry about. If the caution does come out, that's going to allow Watson maybe a little bit more ground. But uh, that's also going to allow Kuryu to make up well, to gain more position. But it's also a gamble. As we are coming in with just a few laps left, really. And Benny Watson, nowhere near these guys to make up any ground. In fact, he's about to lose another position. Or maybe not. There he goes. <laughs> Looks like he was actually good, able to get a good run. Um, and yeah, Creo. Uh, Gatlin Downey not making up any ground, really, from what I'm seeing. Oh dear. This is gonna be uh this is gonna be interesting. Oh man, this is this is something, this is something. Uh Okay. Who's gonna be the first actual champion? Yayo Kurio or Benny Watson? At the moment, looking like Yayo Kurio. And I, I keep talking about both of them. Let's check out the, the lead here. Just John Andrews and Samantha Oskin still Trey Wright sitting in third and Corey LaJoy sitting in fourth. A lot of drivers able to make up positions. I always keep coming back to Watson talking about how he's not able to make up positions. But uh, again, he is the points leader. He was 36 points ahead coming into this one. And uh, well, points will help him stay ahead, but... Uh, Let's see. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see if I can attempt. Uh oh. I thought someone was in the grass. Samet Oskin, there's a problem with his car. Well, that's not good. No caution came out, and that's gonna allow John Andrews to really do this. And look at Corey LaJoy. Corey LaJoy looking for his second win in a row, fourth win of the season. As a uh, Yayo Kuryu. Losing, I think might be losing ground here. Not okay. No, never mind. <laughs> um, Igor Barreto not able to to get run on that tin machine there. Oh, maybe we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, Carrillo about to get around the twenty-one of uh, Mitchell Collins, or maybe not. Uh, can Igor Barreto is or is Igor Barreto going to make make a move? Uh oh. And that's what happened. That's what was happening with Watson. Uh, Yayo Kuryu, uh just too fast there, and uh, got just above another car. Couldn't get down to the bottom line, and uh, allowed a car to to get a nose under. And uh, he's just he's fine, but uh, that's, it's definitely going to make him lose a couple more positions. Definitely a little bit scarier when. Uh, and Samantha's can coming back out onto the track, uh, but uh, definitely a lot scarier when uh, Watson's got a couple laps to try and pick up a couple positions. Maybe not a whole lot, but uh, enough to at least make an impact in Yao Carrillo, losing a handful of positions here. Uh, definitely would be fine if uh, he was able to get passed by Matt McIntyre. Sorry, Matt McIntyre as uh, Evan Cullen may not be close enough just yet. To, uh, to really do anything, uh, but I could be wrong. We'll have to see. Is Matt McIntyre now battling with that tin machine? That yeah, Kuryu has been really good when it's one on one, but whenever there's pack passing it, uh, well, he hasn't really been too great. And up the track he goes, and Matt McIntyre easily going to take that position. As uh, this, the end of this one just got a little bit more interesting. Kuryu staying up the track and. Evan McCollum might get around them. As uh, Brad Stover and Bradley Ream, not really too close yet. But uh, the way 
he's up the track right now. It's gonna it's gonna allow him to kind of make up some ground. He's still up there, and uh, he has fallen back to 16th position. And up the track he goes. I think his tires could be could be worn. As a we're gonna follow up with the lead. Corey LaJoy sitting in the lead. He is looking for his fourth win as uh, Benny Watson still not making up any ground. He might not be making up any ground. He could still have a chance. There he goes. It looks like he was going to try on Ryan Madden. Really, he just needs to be patient, make up a couple positions, and I think he'd be fine, but uh, there's still a lot of positions between, between him and Carrillo. But can we talk about Corey LaJoy? What in the world second one in the row fourth win of the season so we're coming down to two laps to go no one is near him i think he might do it wow and trey wright coming in looking for his third win this season trey wright if he wins he's gonna have a close chance um derek hamill though sitting in third again i believe um if trey wright wins that's gonna move him maybe into third and uh, it looks like Benny Watson, with two laps to go, going to attempt to maybe make some moves. I don't know. If he can get through this pack by the end of that of lap 41, if he can get through this pack without losing any positions, I think I think he could have a chance. But uh, the way it's looking right now, he's not getting around anyone as the white flag is out. And uh, Yayo Carrillo actually gaining positions, it looks like as uh, the rest of this pack has kind of caught him. And uh, there we go. Yao Kriyo making up ground. Yep, this is what it looks like. And uh, Nathan Norman up the track as we're going to come back to the line fairly quickly here. And uh, Yao Kriyo going to finish 15th. Or 14th, actually. Going to finish 14th in this one. I think that might be might have been enough. Uh, Benny Watson only able to gain one position. No, actually none. Uh, didn't even get around Cody Smart in time. And uh, I think I think that's it for him. I don't think he got the championship. Uh, Yayo Kuryu finished in 14th. Um, we'll have to see how they play out. I know 36 points. That's a big gap, but. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to talk through the points with you guys, so that's going to be that. Um, so, before I put in zero, because that's going to end the recording, uh, I guess I'll just cancel this. Uh, here's the rest of your top 20, and here's your bottom sum. Alexander Jones was a lap down, Samantha Austin, and then Ryan Benjamin all laps down. Christian Vargas... Yeah, Benny Watson three spots above the lap traffic, and that's uh, that's not that's not good. So we'll have to see just how the points play out. But I want to thank you all so so very much for watching and joining me this season. I'm gonna see you guys at the point, so I'm not gonna say uh, see uh, Sayonara uh, for the season yet. But uh, just thank you for joining me for all these races and. Uh, well, congratulations, Corey LaJoy getting four wins in a season after not starting very well at all, actually starting really poorly. Uh, I believe he was in either eighth or seventh in points coming into this one, definitely going to be <laughs> a lot better off after this. So uh, um, I'm going to type this in to race 20. Uh, I'm going to put the zero in there, but uh, I'm going to thank you so very much for watching. I will see you at the points, and we're going to figure out who our champion is, so see you there. Hello, and welcome to the points. So, uh, just real quick, the way y'all are going to see, y'all are going to see a nice, crisp thing, not the video, I'm just going to have the audio over it, uh, so you will not see any mouse movements or uh, anything like that. Um, really, congratulations to Yael Carrillo on pulling out the final race championship run. Um, Benny Watson, 27 points behind a 
poor, poor final race for that team. And uh, just got to wonder what happened and got to feel for that team. Uh, did well so many times. Didn't get a win, which is really impressive for getting second. Uh, still nothing to scoff at. Uh, definitely know he would have liked to have won the whole thing. But uh, Yao Kiryu, uh, really well, did really, really well in those last few races. In fact, got a win. Uh, if it wasn't for that win, uh, Benny Watson for sure would have had uh, the championship. Um, it's just, again, like I said, still really well. Uh, without a win, uh, the only driver in the top five without a win, which is insane, insanely good. Uh, so there's that. Yayo Creo, again, congratulations! You are the first champion in the SESO. Uh, I know we had season one quotations, uh, but that wasn't. No one signed up for that one. That wasn't a signed up series. So um, there's that. And then, uh, sorry, and then Benny Watson, again, grabbing second with nine top tens, and then six of them being top fives. So really, really well there. Um, and that's the consistency that allowed him to get there. Uh, and then Derek Hamill, with only one win, um, finished in fourth, or, or sorry, third, didn't move, stayed in that position, try right. Able to finish uh, with two wins on the season and finish fourth in standings. And then Corey LaJoy, four wins, started most of the season, was in for most of the season, was in the bottom uh, half of the points and pulled out a top five with four wins. That was, that's crazy. Um, just, wow. Uh, but with that... Uh, yeah, the rest of your top 10, Jesse Turner, Nathan Orman, Alexander Jones, Matt McIntyre, Bradley Ream, uh, and then you can see the rest there where you finished. Um, so congratulations, Yayo Carrillo, being the champion in Season 2 of the SCSO. So, uh, uh, I want to thank you all so very much for joining me throughout this season and through all these videos. Um, in about a week, I will have uh, a video showcasing the rest, uh, or like all the cars that I have done for the series, or for, for the, yeah, for like the Purina or the Dell series, uh, or both, well, I guess, yeah. Uh, and then uh, we'll go from there if cars are not I'll make an announcement about signing up if uh, if that's... Yeah, I'll do that. Um, so that's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Um, so, yeah, again, look out for that, or for, like, the update, or, like, the update video with showing the cars and then what um, what's going on. And then uh, once all the cars get signed up for and all the car, uh, I'll have about a week... Or I'll put like a week if you're making up your own car. If you're making your own car, I'll I'll give you about another week or two to finish those up, and then uh, then we'll start the season again. There will be short seasons, um, so there's that. Um, so yeah, and then after both of those seasons are over, we'll get on to other things. So I want to thank you all so very much for watching and. Again, one more time, thank you so very much for joining me. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one.